Uh, Clam Garden is a place that's been prepared to create the best growing opportunity for clams so you can cultivate them just like you would a normal garden. They're part of our belief system and they're part of our food system. And so we're to look after it that way, maintain it like a relative. This is a traditional knowledge and everything we really knew about clam gardens came from our First Nations teachers. We find these wonderful features from Alaska to Washington and they're actually pretty simple but um, very intelligent technology. So if you can imagine that you have a natural beach and there are zones for different critters to hang out in the intertidal and there's going to be a place where the butter clams and little neck clams just do best because it's the right amount of time exposed to water and time exposed to air. If you build yourself a wall at the front of that beach, through time that beach is going to fill in with sand and broken shell and live shell, and that's going to change the slope of the beach and increase the zone where those butters and little necks do really well. By changing the slope of that beach, you've also changed the drainage, and in doing so, you retain water, which the water can warm up, it creates all kinds of nutrients, and those nutrients can feed the baby clams and make them grow faster and happier. My name is Sky Augustine. My Hakumiyam name is Hwasyanyan. And on my mother's side, I'm from the Stamenis Nation, or the Shemanis First Nation. And today we're working on one of our two clam garden sites on Russell Island. Our ancestors built these clam gardens all up and down the coast and now that this clam garden and these beaches are in the park reserve, Parks Canada is working with local nations to care for these beaches. The project is being run uh, in collaboration with 10 different First Nations and so we have language experts, they are traditional knowledge holders, they are current clam diggers and it's these people who are helping guide the way that we do it. And it's the first clam garden that's being restored on the BC coast actually, or anywhere in the Pacific Northwest. So we are working to build up the rock wall uh, and care for this beach as it's been cared for for thousands of years. Our ancestors probably touched this rock and that, you know, that satisfies me in a way is that you know, I'm rebuilding another wall. I could bring my kids and my grandkids actually here to this same beach. One day it'll be just as good as it used to be. And I think, it, I think this beach will come back to life. In the future and like, you know, when I'm older, I think that, I think that what we're gonna see is beaches that are absolutely alive, clam gardens uh, that are alive with people and with animals uh, all up and down the coast. <laughs>